sets 2016 question 2a of the 50 villagers who can tune in to Kambani radio station 29 listen to news 25 listen to sports 22 listen to music 11 listen to both news and sports 9 listen to both sports and music 12 listen to both news and music 4 listen to all the three programs and 2 do not listen to any program Draw a Venn diagram to illustrate this information. How many villagers listen to music only? How many villagers listen to one type of program only? How many villagers listen to two types of programs only? So when you are asked to illustrate on the Venn diagram, the first part we have to fill in is the intersection of all the three sets. So we have four listen to all the three programs. That's where we are going to start from. So this is the region where we have all the three programs. We have news, sports, and music here. So we'll put our four there. Then the question is saying 11 listen to both news and sports. So this is the region where we have news and sports only. So we'll say 11 minus 4. We'll put our 7 there. Then we have 9 listen to sports and music so we have to subtract 9 minus 4 which is going to give us a 5 then we have 12 listen to news and music so this is the region where we have those who listen to news and music we we'll subtract 12 minus 4 which is going to give us an 8 after that we have to go back to the question where it's saying 29 listen to news so under this region we are supposed to have 29 villagers. So add 7 plus 4 plus 8, subtract from 29. You find that you are going to have 10 who listen to news only. And then we have 25 who listen to sports. So add 7 plus 4 plus 5, subtract from, subtract from 25. You are going to have 9 who listen to sports only. And then we have 22 who listen to music, so add 8 plus 4 plus 5, subtract from the 22, you are going to have 5 who listen to music only. But this is not complete. The question is saying, 2 do not listen to any program. So those 2 are supposed to be outside the sets where you have new sport and music. That is a compliment. How many villagers listen to music only. We have five villagers who listen to music only. How many villagers listen to one type of program only? One type of program, we have 10 who listen to news only, nine who listen to sports only, and five who listen to music only. So we have to add 10 plus 9 plus 5, which is going to give us 24. Then we have those who listen to two programs, eight listen to news and music, seven listen to news and sports five listen to sports and music so we are going to add eight plus seven plus five which is going to give us 20. we go to 2017 a survey carried out at kamulima farming block showed that 44 farmers planted maize 32 planted sweet potatoes 37 planted cassava 14 planted both maize and sweet potatoes 24 planted both sweet potatoes and cassava 20 planted both maize and cassava 9 planted all the three crops and 6 did not plant any of these crops so when you look at questions 2016 question and the 2017 they are almost similar so the first thing we are going to do is to fill in this nine so that it represents all the three crops. So we are going to start with the intersection of the three crops. Illustrate this information on a Venn diagram. How many farmers were at this farming block? How many farmers planted maize only? How many farmers planted two different crops? So we'll start with this region. This is where we are going to place our nine. This is where we had farmers who planted all the three crops. From here, we'll start looking at both. We'll go to both. The question is saying 14 planted both maize and sweet, uh, sweet potatoes. So we are going to subtract 14 minus 9, which is going to give us a 5. 
Then we have 24 planted both sweet potatoes and cassava. So this is the region. We have to subtract 24 minus 9, which is going to give us a 15. Then we have 20 planted both maize and cassava. So we'll subtract 20 minus 9, which is going to give us 11. From here, we are going to find those who planted maize only, those who planted sweet potatoes only, and those who planted cassava only. So we have to add 5 plus 9 plus 11, subtract from 44 to find those who planted maize only. So when you add 5 plus 9 plus 11, subtract from 44, you find that you get a 19. Then add 5 plus 15, you get a 20. 20 plus 9 is a 29. Subtract 29 from 32, you are going to remain with a 3. Then add 11 plus 9, which will give us a 20. 20 plus 15 will give us a 35. Subtract 35 from 37, you remain with a 2. Then the question is saying 6 did not plant any of these crops. So our 6 should be outside the sets, maize, sweet potatoes, and cassava. Then how many farmers we are at this farming block. So to find the farmers who are at this farming block, we have to add everything. So when we add everything, we'll find that there were 70 farmers at this farming block. How many farmers planted maize only? 19 farmers planted maize only. How many farmers planted two different crops? Those who planted two different crops, you add five, plus 15, which will give us 20. 20 plus 11 will give us 31. So there were 31 farmers who planted two different crops. As simple as that. We go to 2018. At Sambili Leni College, 20 students study at least one of the three subjects. We have mathematics, chemistry, and physics. All who study chemistry also study mathematics. Three study all the three subjects. Four students study mathematics only. Eight students study chemistry and 14 students study mathematics. So the question is saying, draw a Venn diagram to illustrate this information. How many students study physics only? How many students study two subjects only? How many students study mathematics and physics but not chemistry? So we'll take it step by step. The first thing we have to do is to look out for those who study all the three subjects. So the question is saying, three study all the three subjects. So we are going to start with this region. Three study all the three subjects. We'll put our three there. Then the question is saying, four students study mathematics only. This is the region only. So mathematics only should be placed there. Then the question is saying, eight students study chemistry and 14 students study mathematics only. So what we are supposed to do is to look at the eight students who study chemistry. Subtract eight minus three, you get your five there. And then the question is saying, 14 students study mathematics so when we add all the students there, we are supposed to have 14. So when I add 4 plus 5, I'm getting a 9. 9 plus 3 is giving me 12. Subtract 12 from 14, you are going to have a 2 there. So it means that 2 were studying mathematics and physics. Then the question is saying 20 students study at least one of these three subjects. 20 students study at least one of these uh, subjects. So we are supposed to have 20, but here we've already been told that only eight students study chemistry. So this region will remain like that. So we are supposed to add four plus five plus three plus two, subtract from 20. It means that there were six students who were studying physics only. So the question is saying, how many students study physics only? We have six students who study physics only. How many students study two subjects only? Two subjects only. We have five who are studying mathematics and chemistry, two who are studying mathematics and physics. So add five plus two, we'll get a seven. 
seven students study two subjects only mathematics and physics but not chemistry how many students study mathematics and physics but not chemistry we have four who study mathematics two who study mathematics and physics and six who study physics only so add four plus two plus six we have 12 students who study mathematics and physics we go to the last question the venn diagram below shows the number of students in each of these three courses at the university if the students were 25 find the value of x if the students were 25 find the value of x so when we add all these together we should get a 25. How many students studied mathematics and chemistry only? How many students studied one course only? How many students studied chemistry and physics but not mathematics? So we'll start with the value of x first. When we add 6 plus 5 minus x plus 7 plus 4 minus x plus x plus 3 minus x plus 2, we are supposed to get a 25. So let's do that. Group the like terms together. So if you group the like terms together, numbers can be added and terms can be added. So you find that you are going to get 27 minus 2x is equal to 25. Take the 27 to the other side and change the signs. You find that your 2x is going to be equal to 2. To find the value of x, we have to divide both sides by our coefficient 2. Therefore, our x is equal to, to 1. So when you substitute the value of x here, where you put a 1, you find that you are going to get 25. Then the question is saying, how many students studied mathematics and chemistry only? Those who studied mathematics and chemistry only are under this region. So we have 5 minus x, where there's x, we'll replace a 1. So those who studied mathematics and chemistry only we are four so we have five minus one which is giving us a four how many students studied one course only one course only we have six who studied maths only seven who studied chemistry only and two who studied physics only so when we add those you find that there were 15 students who studied one course only then we have how many students studied chemistry and physics but not mathematics chemistry and physics but not mathematics chemistry and physics only but not mathematics so we have three minus one these are the students who studied chemistry and physics only this region so we'll say three minus one which is going to give us a two so two students studied chemistry and physics only as simple as that